You know what they say, don't ya? Well, what I say, new days brings new ideas. New ideas brings more beachcombing videos. So, when you can find these on the beach and pull up and pull them out, they're cool, they're old log boom things. And uh, yeah, they make great garden pieces. Stand that up in your garden, put, carve something on there, whatever. So yeah, I gotta start uh, stockpiling some wood for... Oh, I see a saddle up there. Let's give you a bigger view here. Gotta start stockpiling some wood for the winter time. I, uh, my mind is always drifting and always trying to think up uh, new projects. Not just for YouTube, but like for me to have fun. So what I want to do today is find cool old stuff like this. That looks like it's actually a uh, diamond willow. Oh, this one's too big though. I could break it, but find cool old stuff like that for mushroom pieces. Yeah, that's what I wanna I enjoy doing the mushroom pieces. Um the winter time you can it's quiet. The moss is kind of dirty that I use from the dollar store, but uh I need to go back to Vancouver Island and get some um free moss. Can I reach that piece of wood here? It's a neat piece. It's like a it's like a root piece or something. But anyways, that's uh what I'm looking for today. I don't know. I don't know if you guys want to see me carve any more wood spirits. Oops. Let's look at this piece. It's got some pimples on there. Um. Yeah, I just don't know. And really. Well, that's kind of a neat piece. See the root coming out of here? It's cedar. I'll just leave it there for now. I won't put a marker there. But, um, yeah, the mushroom pieces, you carve the little, look at these pigs here. Just blanket got washed up. I'm not gonna touch that. Um, the mushroom pieces, you know, you take a day, you carve yourself a whole bunch bunch of mushrooms. I've shown how to carve those, like, in two pieces. And, uh, you know, you carve the stalk, then you carve the cap, and then you put the cap on the stalk. That's the easiest way to do them. But you do yourself, like, spend a few hours doing it. Bunch of mushrooms, then you can, you got the mushrooms ready to go for all winter. Then you just find a nice piece of wood to glue the moss on there, glue the mushrooms. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a fun project to do. Um, people really like those. You know, you, you really, for an artist's point of view, it's not worth it to do it to try and make money, but people buy them, that's for sure. But the more time you put in it, you know, it's not like, it's not like something when I'm carving the Christmas trees where it's just like nothing but profit. The mushroom things take a little bit longer. But it's okay. If you, if you have time to burn and you enjoy doing it, they're super fun projects. I don't care how many... Well, I do care. I don't want you guys to get sick and tired of my repetitive con content. But, look how many wood spirit videos I've done. So I'll be doing some more mushroom videos. Don't worry about it. It's all good. See, this is me talking in my head. 
basically for my videos when I'm talking I'm just basically um, saying what I'm thinking speaking out loud it's like I'm my best friend but then again I'm my worst enemy I'm probably my worst enemy than anything so there's not that much wood here really Do you guys like being your own best friend? Do you guys like having best friends stuck in your head that are your worst enemies at the same time? <laughs> uh, like to give a shout out to my dad out there in Vancouver if you're watching this video, dad. Hope you got a good heater for your boat. It's gonna be a cold one this winter. Well, I don't know if it's gonna be cold or not, but just hope you got a good heater. It was kind of funny. Uh, me and my dad butt heads, my real dad in Vancouver. We could, he's never been on my YouTube, but uh, we butt heads sometimes. And we, we kind of got into an argument last week. Not an argument, but um, I don't know how it came up, but. Uh, I thought this year, because I'm going to be on Vancouver Island, I thought we had a mutual agreement, because my birthday is August 17th, and his is like August 24th, I think. It's August 24th or 27th. I can never remember. I never call him on the right day for his birthday. I didn't even know what day was my mom's birthday, or my sister's. But anyways, we kind of got in this little heated debate, I guess you could say. And then it kind of led to the birthdays. And then he said, well, have you, did you call me on my birthday? Did you call me on my birthday? And I says, no, I didn't. Did you call me on my birthday? He goes, no, I didn't call you on your birthday because you said it was going to be, you said you were going to be on Vancouver Island and not have service, so I didn't bother calling you. I said, exactly, Dad. I thought we had a mutual agreement where we were going to call each other on each other's birthdays this year. He goes, no, well, I waited for the call from you and you, you didn't call me, so. And we kind of got heat a little bit up there then I then I hung up or something and then I called back two minutes later I think I had this piece in my last one last video even that's a nice little piece for mushrooms so but then I hung up on I'm like ah oh, man I can't be argued with my dad well so I called back and like five minutes later I call him hey he, call him Hello? I says, hey dad, it's Jordy. He goes, hey Jordy. I said, I just called to wish you happy birthday. And then I hung up. <laughs> just called to wish you happy birthday. Then I hung up on him. <laughs> but then I, uh, I called him back the next day to apologize. So dad, I love you. I think about you all the time. I'm glad you're still here with us. See, this is a nice piece, but it's burning on the bottom. I could clean that burning up easy. It's like Shosugi Ban. So, you know, you got a piece like this, and it's like this, and you can put a mushroom up higher where my hand is when you get it sitting on a table. The most important part is uh, make it so it sits up. Uh, I'm going to leave that as a marker there. It sits smooth on the table. But I'm also looking for one for a wall hanger. See, this is the perfect wall hanger. It's got a nice flat back. I think I had this piece before in one of my other videos. So you can carve a nice flower, a sunflower on there, or anything you want to do. It's got the flat back. You could carve it like this way, so it has like an ocean scene on it, with a cabin on it. Carve whatever you want to carve. It's your art. Do what you want to do. There's no rules. No, I got to remember to get that when I come back here. Yeah, so I got to stop talking so much. Like when I come to do these uh, beach combing videos, or basically any of my videos, I don't have planned on things I'm going to say. I just come down here and...
piece that came up here for. Yeah, see, like that's a nice naturally weathered piece. It's a little bit wet. Who cares? Put it in the oven. Just don't cut your house on fire. So, but I'm looking for kind of like a wall hanger where I could put the mushrooms on there. And then, you know, I just ordered some, uh, it's from my, oh, here's a cool, nice piece of old cedar for a wood spirit right here. Oh, that's a beautiful piece. Um, what is that stuff called? Um, translucent uh, stuff, stuff. That uh, translucent clay. I made some uh, videos before, a couple of years ago, of the translucent, translucent mushroom caps. And you could put lights in them. So they light up at night time. So put this piece here. Oh, here's this other piece here that I stashed. You guys remember this? This dome home piece? Oh, I don't know. Larry Dibbs says he wants it, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to carry it out of here today. But it's still there. So, yeah. Here's a... This, when I see these, it makes me think of Glen out there in Quebec. But this is a double one. These, lots of people call, call these like, a, oh, this is heavy. Pine knots. Hi, Rob. You just called Rob, just messaged me. He's going through big problems with his back. Because he pushes it. He does too much. Then his back's sore. But here's a neat piece. So, like, this could be a wall hanger because it's pretty flat on the back. Just cut off that stubby there. Like, see that stubby thing coming off the back? Then you got like a, you can put this, put it, put it on the wall and make it a lamp. I've made these lamps before. So like the lamps hanging off this part here. Or it could be a mushroom thing too. It's pretty big to be a mushroom piece, but actually, you know what? It's, it would be pretty nice for to mushrooms on that piece. It's not too big. I think I'll leave this here too. I might even actually take this piece. It's got some fire damage there, but no big deal. Because, you know, you could put uh, mush, uh, moss along here. And then you could put mushrooms coming out of here. Even mushroom coming out of the top here. That's a pretty neat piece. So I'll keep that. We need to get some more storms here. And then the, when the, if there's a storm and it's a high tide, all this stuff gets washed out and then you get new stuff washing in. What I'm actually beautiful, getting beautiful. The sun's popping out here. Look at that. Uh, I got to go to my chainsaw tent and clean it up. I'm carving those trees. It's a freaking mess. Where did I put those other pieces? Where are they by? Okay, they're by there. I like this little part of the beach because. First of all, people don't bring their dogs down here. I've said it on lots of my videos. Don't carve dog piss wood. And it, there's nobody usually here. And there's my little friends. There's a group of five of them right there. Six of them. Little squawkers. Hey there. Try to lure me away from their nest. Oh, there's a couple seagulls there too. Where's the seagulls? I'm super zoomed in right now, anyways.
You see, when I'm doing these beach combing videos, it's hard for me to uh, concentrate on what I'm looking for because I'm too busy talking. Maybe a red piece of oh, bark shit. That red bark that I made those mushrooms before. I got super excited. The most important thing to me about wood carving is uh, the excitement of finding new wood to carve in different shapes. Sometimes the wood carving gets boring. Same old thing, same thing. This makes it exciting. Even this little piece is perfect for mushrooms right here. Nice little piece, put a couple mushrooms on there, sits flat on a table. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna film. Maybe I'll show my uh, shop how dirty it is, but I gotta, Wow, there's like one, two, th there's like 12 of those little beaker things. Clam diggers, whatever they're called now. Oyster chuckers, or they got the orange peaks. They're going to start squawking big time pretty soon here. See, look, got some dark clouds over there. That's, uh, that's Vancouver City over there. Then uh, over there, like those islands over there, the Gulf Islands, but that's uh, kind of like United States over there. Like that point right there, that's United States. That's uh, um, can't even freaking think of the name, Point Roberts. So it's like a little tiny tip right there. That's Point Roberts where Canadians go and get cheaper gas. But like, it's just such a small area, I guess. America said that, I guess the US said we're taking it, it's ours. Anyways, I don't get into politics. So, we haven't, uh, like I would like to find smaller uh, root pieces. Look at this uh, pimply wood. I might have to go down by the closer to the ferry. Go look down there a bit better. Because I know I could find something way better than this, so let's just get rid of this. Here's a nice one. Oh, it's got a hole in it too. I call those just carved rob holes. So that's a nice piece. Got some quilting in there, see that? Those lines. So anyways, that last piece of cedar that I got, man, that was the nicest piece of cedar I've ever carved in my life, but had that weird creature in there. It looked like a big wood bug. So let's, Look, make sure nothing's inside here. Oh, here they go. Look, I've never seen so many of those little things. Yeah, I'm coming to take your eggs. I'm coming to steal your eggs, take them home and fry them. Yeah, that's what I'm here to do. Yeah, I see you there. Don't worry, I'll take all your eggs. There's like 12 of you there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's like 15 of you there. You're having a big reunion. Yeah. Is that a seal out there? No, it's another bird. Anyways, don't worry when you get home. You have no eggs there because I got them. By the time you see that they're not there, I'll be eating them.
Hi, Glad. Out there in Quebec. That one's all burnt. I think I already had this piece in my hands before. Whew, starting to sweat a little bit. I'm definitely not walking on any logs. Since I slipped off that other one last one of those times ago. Something scared him off. That's like a piece of beaver art. Anyways, we're kind of getting to the end of the line here. I think I'm going to go drive up by the ferries and uh, check out that beach a little bit better. Well, actually, more. Let's see what's going on down there. I'm going to walk back here um, and show you guys. I'll just stop at, thing, at neat pieces, I think. Yeah, because this video, well, I really don't care how long this video is, but... And hi Spike, hope you're doing good. Staying positive. Hi everybody else. Here's a float. So yeah. I'm going to uh, start walking back now and I'm going to stop filming if I see anything worthy of showing um, I'll show it. I got this piece look at the little feather in there a little feather sticking out of there see that? Anyways, I'll be back. So you guys, this is a good example. You see this, um, this would be like close to the root of a tree. You see these lines here? So say if I took this and I cut it smooth or sand it all nice and flat. Then when I sanded it with like a really fine grit, like 600 grit, those bumps would still be in the wood and it would look like they're like, that's what they call it, quilting. Those lines would still be there and it looks like it's like this, right? It's super neat when you get a piece that has that. But uh, anyways, carry on, carry on. I already have that piece in my hand. Yeah, I'm just going to be concentrating more when I uh, when I'm searching now. I'm just not going to talk so I can concentrate. Oh, this is upside down. I'll have to edit that uh, piece around. Okay, so I'm not going to talk that much. I'm going to more concentrate. Oh, no. See, I didn't put markers up for that wood that I found. I usually put markers up, but I'm lazy today. I think this might be cherry wood here.
that shiny bark. Looks like it's almost metallic. Anyways. Uh, should I, I was just thinking to myself, should I take the high road or take the low road? I think I'll take the low road. What I should have done, I should have gone out to Richmond. That's what I should have done. I still could do it. It's early enough in the day. So there will not be much traffic. That's the beach along the river I go to. And then uh, not go clean out the carving tent today. Because I really don't want to clean the carving tent today. Better off getting up early, early tomorrow morning. And going doing that. I'm still waiting for the call to go back to work. This piece I see it every friggin' time it drives me nuts. I can't stand to see this piece anymore. Good, it's tucked away behind a rock. Never to see again. So the tide's going down. So you know what? I think I'll take you guys along. Uh, let's go for a little trip here out to uh, Richmond. So this is the ocean, Pacific. And we're in Delta, British Columbia for any new viewers. But uh, let's go over, in, so we're in Delta, but let's go over to the, um, Let's go over to the uh, to the river. Have to go through the tunnel, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna get what I uh, got here. A couple small pieces. Oh, where's that bigger piece? Yeah, this piece tucked here. I said it would be a nice little gnome home thing. Let's see if I can get it with one hand. This piece. Kind of looks like a lady's hip. Sexy hip. So I think I'm gonna, uh, oh yeah. See how twisty that wood is? I do not know the type of wood. But it would sure make a neat gnome home, wouldn't it? I think it's Douglas fir, to be honest. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I can find some little pieces more in Richmond than I'm looking for. So how about I take um, it's a spider web on my hand. How about I take uh, this one? And this one. Then I gotta carry this one. Carry this. And I'm parked over there. I don't think there was anything too important that I left back over there. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna sweat. I'm gonna get this stuff back to my car. Here you go, Larry. I don't know if this is too big for your 
shot. This gnome home thing. But uh, you could cut, it's got bug holes in it too. But I don't think the bug holes, sometimes the bug holes add character. But you can carve this out and make a big door right there. Because you see this was once an injured tree. You can see it was healing right there. Same with here. But anyways, I gotta carry this back to my car now. Damn you, damn you. Okay, so I got the piece back and these pieces, two pieces of root. Larry Dibbs, you live on Vancouver Island. You're surrounded by beaches with more driftwood than I get here. How come you're not going beachcombing yourself? Hurry up and get your license, buddy, so you can start, well, your final license, so you can start getting the wood yourself. This was a long walk, man. I just lost 10 pounds. Anyways, just kidding, but okay, off to Richmond. Looking pretty dark over this way. Don't know if it's gonna rain or not. Should have brought a rain jacket. So we're still in Delta. We're in Ladner now. The beach is on Tawasson where I go beach combing. But uh, yeah, anyways, the farm where I carve is where a chainsaw carve. The barn's gonna be coming up here soon on this side, this side. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna see it because I gotta take this turn, but um, so here's a sign to Vancouver. Look, look, is that it there? Yeah, oh, there it is there. There's the red barn. The silver roof, okay, gotta go, bye. Okay, we're still in Delta. Oh, so like, a lot of towns over there. Spirit trails are just uh, in there. But um, we're gonna go through the tunnel, then if anybody cares, then once, once we get through the tunnel, the tunnel goes below the Fraser River. And I think they're gonna, sooner or later, build a big bridge to go over it and um, not use the tunnel anymore because this tunnel is like uh, it's called Massey Tunnel I think it was built in the 40s so they're talking about building a big bridge over here but uh, where all those boats are and stuff there that's all Ladner this is Ladner but uh, here comes the tunnel not that it's not exciting but uh, just thought I'd let some of you people know that uh don't be a Jordy. I have no life. <laughs> Here's a tunnel. Yeah, in the winter time, you can see the water coming. Well, not the winter time. Any time of year, the water. They got pumps in here, so they're always pumping water out that gets in from the river up there. Looks like they put new lights in here. I've been in it through here in about a month. But I think last time I was in here, it was like kind of yellow lights. I guess they switched over to LEDs now. Okay, we just got a tunnel. I just thought of a great uh, thumbnail, thumbnail title for this video. The life of having a beachcomber's life. The life of no life. Or something. The beachcomber. The life, having a life with no life. Or making a life out of no life. I'll think of it. Life of the beachcomber. With no life. Just how about No Life Johnson, the beachcomber? I think that's it. No Life Johnson, the beachcomber. They're doing all this used to be farms. They're doing all construction around here. Gotta go. Yeah, I remember when I was younger, this used to be all farms. And uh, right here, where I'm pointing, there used to be a don couple donkeys that used to live in the field there. Anyways, gotta go. No Life Johnson, the beachcomber. So yeah, for anybody that cares, we're on uh, Steveston Highway. I'm about, uh, I don't know, five minutes from the beach. But um, Richmond here, I used to live in Richmond for like 10 years. Um, we call this land of the Asians. So you got to be really careful when you're driving here. Not that I have anything against Asians. Uh, but you got to be careful driving. So I got to go. No life, Johnson. One thing I do got to say is uh, look at some of these mansions here. The thing I do got to say is uh I'm feeling pretty lucky. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to find that piece of wood gold here. So, here we are once again, the land of the honey hole. 
Man, it looks like it's high tide right now. Shit. It is. Anyways, we'll find something. Yeah, we'll find something. Here it comes up here. We'll find something to pick through. Tide's going down. Oh, there's some geese. Yeah, look at all the wood there. Come on, zoom in. Anyways. Yeah, I forgot I had this director's view on this camera. So, oh, gotta roll up the window. Lock the doors around here. All right. This is what I'm talking about. So the tide's pretty high, but, oh yes, oh yes, enough of this director's view. Hello. I guess we can run with it a little bit, it's just harder for me to keep the camera on myself when uh, I'm looking for wood. And this is all wet, so it's slippery. But look at this honey hole, I bet you're all jealous now, huh? So yeah, uh, last time I was here, when I was walking out, some guy came and pestered me a bit, got into all my business, and uh, right here, actually, wondering what I was up to. It's like, buddy, mind your own business. But yeah, so I got to be super careful walking through this. I don't want to trip, man. When I fell off that log last time, man, I really hurt myself. Okay, I gotta remember that I'm not 20 anymore, right? And I got a hole in my head. So, what I'm looking for here is a wall hanger I can put some mushrooms on. So it would probably be like a, look at this all. Look at this big stump. Look at this. the size of this big stump. I put my hand here for reference size. Cedar, 100% cedar. You know, the other beach I go to in Tawasin's good because I can pull out my chainsaw. I uh, don't pull out my chainsaw around here because people walk along there. And actually, tell you the truth, I don't even know if you're allowed to take this wood. Cottonwood bark with bug holes. So I am going to try and walk on the, I call this the high side, because out there is all slippery kind of a bit muddy wood. If I see something out there that I want, I'll go get it. But I'm just going to walk really slow, take my time, and find that piece of gold, nice cedar log right here. Got the ducks out there. Got the geese. This is a good piece for a address sign, like a slab. Actually, that's an awesome piece. But I'm not carrying nothing out of here heavy today. I could carry that out of here. I know I could. But I ate. All right, it's perfect down here. So you don't really have to worry about um, this being dog piss wood because, well, not too many people's going to bring their dogs running through here. Let's go back up to the high side. 
I told just kind of Rob that I'm coming here. So this is the Fraser River. Um, he says, did I bring my gold pan? Well, just kind of Rob, I don't have a gold pan. But I told him, I'll save my Amazon money and I will get a gold pan so I can gold pan this sand right here. Because he's always talking about a uh, big gold rush along the Fraser River. I don't, I don't know, it's up way up in the mountains. See out there, that's the ocean. That's the Pacific Ocean. That's the mouth right there. That's Steveston Village. But this way up the river is... Uh, way up in the mountains in the Kootenays is where they got the gold but I do drive up the mountain sometimes I'll take I'll, I'm gonna get a gold pan and I'll do some gold panning do some tests when I'm on Vancouver Island okay I need to start paying attention to what's going on here find something it's a nice old piece of cedar right here look at the color in that wood right here beautiful piece of cedar right here now that's not too far to my car look at right here to right there that's not that far both these pieces oh, oh fuck oh I buckled my leg let's see here look at that color in there Hold on. I'm gonna see actually how heavy it really is. Whoa. Not too bad, but uh Forget it, don't eat it. There's a neat piece. I buckled my knee. For mushrooms, that's a neat piece. I might take it. Big old cedar slabs down there still. Big old cedar log. Looks like somebody cut cut some of the butt end off. Man, I see cedar butts everywhere. You can tell by the color. Old cedar. See that? Those colors there? The reddish? There's one there. There's one beside it. There's one up a little one up there. Anyways. I have a hard time uh forget what I was gonna say but uh, maybe I should take the high road I don't know if I want to travel through all this stuff here slip and hit my head that's lights out game over yeah I better take the high road that little root piece in there look at this beautiful piece of cedar just sitting here edge grain I was looking at this piece So you can cut those little branches off there then you can make this piece like a two mushroom tops 
right here like that I've been kind of uh, waiting to find something like this but it's got a crack there but that epoxy sculpt when you get that epoxy sculpt you can like I can break let me see if I can break this one now that I can bust that off then you can fill the hole with the epoxy sculptor wood filler whatever so I've been looking for something like this I think I'm gonna take it I just have to remember where I put it there is another beach in Richmond that I've never beach combed what's it called um they take their dirt bikes and stuff out there often um, triangle beach so I might go I'm gonna leave I'll leave that there like that I won't forget it okay where's it by it's by that big stump there I kind of feel like I got to go to the bathroom now too you guys know what happens when you got to take a number two when you're on the beach and there's no bathrooms around it's not good Oh, 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 that's what I don't want to do. Excuse me, you guys heard that. Because that piece there that I, here's a nice piece. That piece there that I found, um, you can shape the, that's a nice piece sits nice and flat I'll take that you can shape the mushroom oh here's another one like this but uh, too bit too big you can shape the mushroom caps with the epoxy sculpt which I'm gonna do yeah somebody's been coming here bucking up this cedar I remember this thing was like huge before hold on I'm just gonna go here for a second yeah, that twisty thing. Oh, there goes a car ship. Um, that's what we do at my job. We unload car ships. See the size of that thing? I've unloaded some of those. When you're unloading those ships, you gotta hustle. Get those cars off there. You drive the cars off. Like that thing's got like ten decks. I don't know. I forget how many decks are inside of it, but. Then we drive the car into a big huge parking lot and then a bus takes us back up in there but sometimes the bus can't like the bus that we're all all the drivers sometimes the bus can't drive up the stair the decks because there's something in the way and we got to climb the stairs for each each set of stairs to get to the top deck for the cars and it's a hustle you got to move it because the quicker you're done the quicker you can go home and all the cars are unlashed are lashed down with like those tie downs to steel decks so you first of all when you you got to start at the top and you work down and you unlash all the decks all the cars right and it was hard for me because when i bend over like that i get super bad headaches so i kind of had to hide a bit when the lashing was going on because i'd get too much headaches and i'd have to say i'm sick i can't work anymore because of my head injury right that's what happens when i bend over too much the the because I'm missing a piece of my skull, the brain swells and then it decreases so much. It just gives me a super bad headache and I'm laid out for two weeks after that once I get that headache. But um, yeah, so you start off unlashing the whole deck. Boom, 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 boom. Like there's like, I don't know how many people they get, but lots. And then you start taking the cars out. It's a rush, man. It's a mad rush. And then buses are driving back in there too with people to get another car. Anyways, here's this big cedar log. Yeah, somebody's been bucking it up. Look at the color in that. That's why it's good to go beachcombing too when it's a bit wet out. Because you can see the color of the wood. Here's another piece right here too. Super. Super. Look at the grain in there that's each year that's just a little piece of it and that big huge piece of cedar that I got at my tent I'm gonna count the rings in it when one of these videos here
but they probably slice this. Oh, look at the burls in there. They're cutting up and everything. Look at this piece here. Look at this. Oh, yeah, somebody was out here cutting her up. Can't say I blame them. Look at this piece. Look at the color in this wood. Look at that, look at that color. Oh, that's not heavy at all. Look at that color. I could carry this to my car. Easy. Very easy. That's light. How do you know it's cedar? Oh, here's some bark. It's just such nice cedar. Look how tight that green is. You can't even see it. And this piece. Oh yeah, I could carry that, no problem. But do I need it? Look at that. Look at this one has burls on it. Yeah, I don't get too excited for cedar burls. It's not like bird's eye grain, it's just kind of normal. Um, it's just a little bit swirly. But look at that color. Actually, here's a nice piece of cedar too. Yeah, so look at the burls here. Look at that burl. One down there too. But like I said, the burls uh, don't really excite me. Here's all the geese. Hey, David Grass, if you watch this, I guess the geese aren't shitting on your grass anymore because, uh, well, they're all back here in Canada. There they are, Canadian geese. This camera super zooms in. I don't know if it does in this mode. Yeah, that's as close as I can zoom in. Anyways. Oh, look at that nice piece of cedar right there. Yeah, this thing was massive before. Somebody's been bucking it up. Good, good for them. So they did have a chainsaw down here. I guess they parked their car right there. Maybe they had a crane or something. I don't know. See there's some cedar with some quilting in there. See those bumps? You sand that flat and it looks like those bumps are still in the wood. Anyways, back to mushroom stuff hunting. This big old cottonwood, you can tell by the pimples on it, or it's maple. Maple gets those little pimples too, around here. Oh, I'm just gonna sit down for a minute. So it's, yeah, it's just about getting out and enjoying the day. I don't know how much farther I am going to walk down here because I would like to go to that um, that other beach. I've never beachcombed before. We used to go back down there uh, when we were kids with our dirt bikes and stuff. It's like a big sand pit. I don't know how bumpy it is to get into, but why I've never beachcombed there because I've never really seen too much. I think it's more of a rocky beaches there. I've never really seen too much 
driftwood there, but I've never really thought of looking when I used to go there. So I think I'm going to go there anyways. If there's not any beechwood, no big deal, no driftwood, no big deal. Just uh, having a good time, enjoying the day. You know, so if you guys are, I don't know, I suggest get out as much as you can before the winter hits. There's a nice cedar log right there. Have a good time. Where's that helicopter? Oh. oh, it was a good gold rush last night. That's my favorite show. Not gold rush, um, Deadliest Catch. Gold rush and Deadliest Catch are my two favorite shows. What's that? Is that a brick of cocaine? No, just a piece of wood. One day, something's gonna wash up here. And, uh, oh yes. And when I find it, I'll tell you one thing right now, it won't be on film. <laughs> Gotta go. Okay, uh, so I just came up with another good idea. This piece here, it's hard to see. But you see how the bottom's cut flat? See that? So that's a that will sit perfectly on a table. Then you could put some mushrooms up here. Do some carvings here if you wanted. Let me get this uh, set up better. Put a little feather on there. But you see? Spin it around here. Now it's on a log, but if you had a table where it was flat, it's nice nice wood here you don't even have to do anything like look at the grains and stuff then you put some mushrooms popping out of it make a nice uh entertainment piece for sure i think i might take this and just let it dry out look at that you could carve like a a wood spirit face here and have all this stuff like uh blowing in the wind Whoosh. Huh? Eh? It is a pretty neat piece, I think. Fit perfect. I wish I had a flatter surface. That's pretty good. You can carve a whale on there. You can carve it so it's a whale or whatever. Curve it so it's like a, a uh, eagle, one of those hawks that uh, tuck their wings and are sewing down to get the, their catch. So much stuff you can carve on this. I think it's uh, cedar. I'm not really too sure. Might be Douglas fir. But you see how the bottom's flat? That's why. It was a branch or something, but I think this is a piece worth getting because it's been all ripped. So that what happened is the piece of wood got ripped from here and that's how you get stuff like that. But look at that. I think this is a piece uh, worth taking. I just keep seeing a wood spirit up here like there's his nose, but I don't think, um, I don't know, I'm gonna take this piece yeah, I am. What what the hell is... Oh, that's a jellyfish on there. I'm going to take it home and wash it off with the hose. Yeah, I'm taking it. We'll just uh, walk a little bit more here. Because I found that roost piece. For, I found a couple pieces in Tawasson Beach. I found that root piece. Here's another root piece, but it's too uh, mangled, I think. They also make a, oh yeah, this is a stump. They also make so, I'm looking for an old decrepit root piece so I can do like a bunch of crazy weird faces on it. 
so would work I guess the geese just showed up now when you're walking on the grass like this you got to be careful because there's, I call them ditch holes but look at this piece like there's mud holes in the mud in here. You can see where there where the water is. Those are deep holes. Oh, that's heavy. But that's kind of neat. Oh, it's broken in there. See, this is kind of what I'm looking for because I want to do a mushroom piece. Ow, fuck. Pardon my language. Ah. See, I'm going to do a piece like this. I'm going to do a piece like this. Actually, I'm not going to tell you guys what I'm going to do because someone... Look at this piece of bark here. Look at the size of this bark. Oh, look at the size of that. That is from the bottom. Let me give you a bigger view here. This is from the bottom. I'm not taking it, but oh, it's from the bottom of a big old cottonwood tree. Huge piece of bark. It's no good. It's all cracked and stuff. I found a coconut. I found a coconut. There's still coconut milk in it. There you go. Oh, look at that. Maybe the geese will eat it. Oops. Kind of sunk in the... That's neat. Coconut, found a coconut just guard Rob. I'm just waiting for that big bale of coke to, to flood in. Forget about the coconuts. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> oh boy. The life of no life Johnson. Okay, let's just go up to this big log here and then uh, I think that will be it because well because I want to go to Triangle Beach then I got to carry those other pieces out.
see this is what I'm kind of looking for like that let me get out of the sun here a piece like this seal there cut these bottoms off and Larry Dibs if you're still if you're watching this I was just kidding when I bought that uh, wood that I got you because uh, I volunteer to get it for you so don't worry about it it's just I was just kidding okay where's that uh, piece oh there it is over there okay I'm gonna make it back to that piece get that piece oh no where did I put the other little piece that's why I put markers up I'm gonna make it back there start heading back to the truck here's one of those pieces of wood that you can make a pumpkin stalk See that? Make a cool pumpkin stalk. Anyways. I don't know what all these little seeds are. Tons of them. I think they're from the grass maybe. That would even make a nice little mushroom piece. If it would sit on a table, well at some point it's going to sit flat. later okay let me get this piece and the other piece and start heading back I mean it this time okay so here's this piece do I want to take it yeah I should take it put a nice shiny put a nice shiny finish on it look it's already drying out look at that natural grain right there yeah I better take it Laziest man has the best ideas. Got him! Got him! Huh. Yeah, I just found a piece of Arbutus. Oh no. Oh yeah, that might be Arbutus. No, it's not. Okay, off to the next spot. I just put the pieces in my car. Um, well, my Forerunner truck. It'd be a shame not to come and check over here where the sand is. Just quickly run through it. I think that's a big cedar log over here too. Yeah, that's cedar, or, or is it? Uh, I think it's Douglas fir. Oh no, it's cedar. 
There's your bark, there's your proof. Yeah, look at this log. Man, this is a big dollar log. It had rot in the bottom, but is there rot here? Yeah, a little bit. Or is that Douglas fir? Not cedar. But uh, that's first growth too. Hand size for reference. But it had some rot, but man, look at that. I got, some, I got a cedar log this big at my carving tent. It's about that big. Look at that mossy old log out there. I'll get back to a better part where can, somebody made a fort. Perfect, nobody's down here today. Hey, what's that guy doing on the rocks over there? Oh, maybe they're gonna start fishing. Salmon come up here, but look at that old mossy log. Look at the moss on it. Just sitting there. Soup, that's an old one. Where I should go gold mining, uh, kind of just right here. You just carve Rob. Look at this, looks like an eagle's wing. Looks like a friggin' eagle's wing. See it right there? Hey, there's a stump, a rotten old stump. These are the things I like to carve. Stuff like this. That's what I like to carve. Oh, it's hollow in there too. Look, it goes right through. Oh yeah, look at that. It goes right through there. That's a beauty. I'm taking it. Let it dry out some. I'll carve something cool into that sucker. Take it home, wash her off with the hose, let it dry out. Oh yes. Now look at this. This is the eagle's wing right here. Well, it did look like an eagle's wing. But yeah, no, I'm taking that piece for sure. It'll be a wicked winter carve. Curve some weird shit on it. Yeah, look at that old bog, man. Oh boy, yeah. That's a beauty. Look at this root pile right here. This is what you, a root like this, you got a saw, you slice it perfectly down here, like this. You slice it right here, boom. Then you slice it right here, boom. Perfectly straight, and it makes a wicked, wicked like a wall hanger for a mansion. I think that's a thumbnail. Man, I thought I was filming this thing in 4K. Well, it's 4K now. You know, I might as well switch it back to uh, HD because I'm going to have lots of problems if I don't uh, doing the editing. But yeah, I got enough from here. It's kind of a dead end. Let me go get that root piece and then we'll go to the next stop. Beautiful out here though today, isn't it? It's a beautiful day on the Fraser River. Too bad I didn't have a gold pound. 100% birch tree. 100% birch. Yep, look at that sucker. All those years I was searching for birch and here it is lying on the beach. Now what is this? Oh, it's a little, it was a elephant doll thing from uh, India. 
Where's your nose going? It fell off. Oh, yep. Yeah. Sore back. See? It'll be like that. Ah. It's a uh, Buddha. Anyways, I wonder if those are real diamonds in there. Take it home, put it on my diamond tester. No, better leave them with the boot up. Don't want any bad juju. Leave it all together, nice and happy. Okay, where's that piece? There it is. Slingshot anybody? Bullhead? Yeah, I'm taking this. I've been looking for this for a while. Something like this. Oh yes, yeah, so I could curve a dragon head right here or something. Like facing that way. Yep, I'll be curving this this winter. Let's get rid of all that sand out of there first. Okay, back to the car. On to the next place. I got too much stuff already. See, this is why you be careful when you're carving the root pieces. Look at these rocks in here. Look at this big old rock. Here's a rock too. Is this cedar? Man, I think it is. Here's some bark. Yep, that's cedar all right. 100% cedar. Look at it. Oh, this is a perfect thing to do. Uh, before, I, when I very first started carving, I always wanted to find a tree like this that was rotten on the beach that had this so obviously you can see here the tree was once injured right so it tried this is the injured part tried growing around here but this is a perfect spot for a wood spirit to put a wood spirit in there with this naturally like this but I could carve it so it's like this now but if you follow me perfect spot to carve a wood spirit right in there boom some of these dogs lost their rubber ball. Anyways. Doesn't this phone zoom in good? Yep, you're not gonna find it if you don't go out there and look for it. It's all about the hustle. Come on, get off here. Yeah, it's all about the, the beach combing hustle. Bet you guys wish you had this piece, don't you? Uh-oh. That's okay. Gives it more character now. Look at that. Oh yes. Nothing but character now. Oh man. Fuck. So yeah, it's a beautiful day out here. And uh, I'm just gonna go along the river here. I have another spot. I've showed on lots of my videos. It's a pretty muddy place. But uh, I'm not going to go there, but I am going to stop there and I'll show it quickly. That's usually where the dudes that live in their vans down by the river, they usually stay there. What's this lady doing on her bike? Like, Hi there. You know, another reason why it's good to get out this time of year is because all the different colors of the trees and stuff. Don't really see too much different colors now, but it's fall time. It's a, it's a really... Uh, I guess you'd say a beautiful time of year when it's sunny out and you get those colors. So I'm at the next spot I usually go beach combing at, but uh, I'm not going to go down there today. Lots of muddy wood inside here. Oh yeah, somebody's been cutting up cedar there too. You can see there's a heron bird back there.
See it right in the middle of the uh <laughs> But uh, let's not disturb it. I said I'd stop here. If I saw anything worth getting, I would uh, get it. But see those cedar logs down there? Those are cedar logs, old cedar. But uh, I could walk down there. I'm just kind of it's kind of a little bit lazy now. So you can walk down here and then walk around there and then sometimes there's some cool surprises around. Uh, I just don't want to walk down these rocks, but I guess I will if they're dry. Okay, I'll lock my car. Okay, I made it down. I just want to walk around the corner there. I don't know why I have my heavy winter coat on today. I'm sweating now. Still a little bit muddy. Oh, it stinks. Mud stink. There's a cedar little pecker log, pecker pole. Surprise it. There's a coconut shell. Maybe I could make this uh, lampshade or something. Actually, I'm going to take this. I'll carve it. Make it a lampshade or something. Yeah, I'll keep this. I know I could buy a coconut at the store, but... More, more exciting carving something like I'll carve it with diamond burrs or something just make a pattern on it why not this winter when I don't feel like carving a lot and creating, creating major dust here's a neat twisty root piece Yeah, that's it for me out here. I got the uh, coconut shell. That's good enough. Or what they used to do is, I think they used to, how did they, how did they do that? They used to make, uh, I think in Hawaii or something, I don't know if there's coconuts in Hawaii, but they used to like uh, make money monkeys or something out of these, like blue eyes on them. Maybe I can even carve a wood spirit, make this his hat. Anyways, there's nothing to be found here today. There's a burl. Oh, just a little burl piece. Yeah, you can tell that's like a cedar burl. 
I only got 15% battery left. Gotta go. Gotta save more room for the... Uh... Yep, there's a little burl piece. Look at the grate in there. I'll keep it. Um, Gotta go. Because I gotta go to the other place too. Okay, so that's what we got so far today. Coconut shell. And this little burl piece. Maybe the coconut shell can fit on there. But what would you want to do that? Okay, so one, I don't know. I'm going to go to the other piece. Don't have much camera time left. Okay, so before I get traveling again here, I'm still at the spot. Um, some people ask, you know, if you find wood like in the forest or the beach or along a creek or river, and you're worried that there's bugs or something in it, or even if a dog pissed on it, all you need to do is get a garbage can, put like that much bleach in there, put some water in there, let it soak in the bleach and water overnight, then uh, take it out and let it dry. That should kill everything. Yeah, that's that's what that's what I'd used to do. But I don't do it anymore. You don't even really need to put bleach in there. You can just put water in there and make sure the wood's uh, underneath the water because then it will drown any insects that are uh, in there. But spin the wood when it's in the water so if there's any air pockets, the air pockets get out. And don't worry, it's not gonna, the water's not gonna penetrate that deep into the wood. It will take a day or two to dry out the outer layer that the water gets in. Just thought I'd pull over and show you I'm still in Richmond, but uh, that's Ladner right there. You see the big, uh, I don't know if you guys can see on camera, I can't zoom in, but that's the boat orge there. And the spirit trails, are right there. The lookout, the bird lookout would just be right about over there. Anyways, whatever. I just wanted to take a little detour down here. Like, yeah, look at the color of those trees there. Um, this is where I used to live in this apartment building. I lived down here when they first built these apartments actually. Uh, and my apartment was, there's the river right there. So you got the river right there and my apartment overlooked the river. So it was a pretty neat place to live. That was like over 20 years ago. No, that was about 15 years ago. Right when they finished building these, I got one of those places there. I'm just gonna drive down to the end. Yeah, so I'm down at the end. Here's the river. The shitty thing that lived the shitty thing, like my apartment was uh, the top floor. The shitty thing about living, like that might have been my apartment up over there. The shitty thing about living here is in the, oh, look at the wood down here. The shitty thing about living here is in the winter time when it was super foggy, the big ships would come down here and you'd hear their big fog horns go off all the time. But yeah, anyways, that's where I used to live when I was having a good time. <laughs> I'm up on the causeway, but I don't, Triangle Beach is down there. Maybe there's no more Triangle Beach. But anyways, I better get out of here because people are starting to walk here and uh, I don't think I'm allowed up here. See? Yeah, sorry about that. I guess it's gone. I guess there is no more Triangle Beach. But uh, anyways... Back to the house to wash this stuff off with the garden hose. So I drove to the other side of Richmond. So this is, this would be the north side of Richmond. So that's uh, Vancouver over there. That'd be uh, east, southeast Vancouver. Or that it might even be Burnaby. No, that would be southeast Vancouver. But uh, we got this old dock here. See all the tugboats and stuff here? This is uh, this road here, I didn't realize. This is River Road in Richmond, I didn't realize. Oh, there's a nice piece of cedar in there. I didn't realize it was such an industrial road. We got this neat old dock here. I thought I'd come out here and show you guys all the log booms that, um, this is all old trolley station or something, I guess for logging. See the rails here? Yeah. they're. There's rail, there's rail right here. It's all railroad. I don't know if it was put there just for whatever, but. Oh. 
I thought I'd kill the video. I can go home, charge the battery a bit, then uh, wash those pieces of wood off. I don't know how much beach combing there'd be along this part of the river. This is just a little inlet of the Fraser River. But uh, look how big that log boom is down here. It goes all the way down, all the way down around the corner. All those logs. Lots of cedar in there. Yeah, this is a neat old thing. Anyways, I wonder if I should travel more down this part. Like go more down uh, this way. Dri get in my car and drive down there more. Maybe I will. Okay, I'm going to walk back to my car and uh, drive down there. Just kill the battery. Okay, never mind that. I got to go home and go to the washroom. Then I'll wash off the wood with the garden hose. You can only sit down so many times before you really got to go to the washroom. It's bloody well 2 in the afternoon and there's traffic. This Vancouver, Vancouver, British Columbia is getting too overpopulated. It's time for me to go live in the friggin' forest where there's no traffic at all. It just, just makes me sick. Anyways, you guys know that Canada is the biggest, the second biggest country in the world. Too much traffic. So let me explain the bathroom situ situation again. We're almost dead battery here. When you gotta go to the washroom super bad, you got one last chance to sit down. Now you sit down, you're safe, nothing's gonna happen. But as soon as you get up, you're gonna, you're gonna have to go to the washroom. So I'm not getting up till I get home again to go to the washroom, if that makes sense. Anyways, meaning, when you sit down, you're safe, but as soon as you get up, you're fucked. Okay, so as soon as I get done washing all this stuff off, I gotta go to my buddy's house. Um, he just cut down a tree. The tree is left. I gotta do an on-site carving. We were gonna do it this year, but it's too late in the year, so we're gonna do it in the spring. It's like 20 feet high, and then I'm gonna carve a bunch of owls on the top of the tree. I'll show you guys the tree, but I don't wanna talk too much when I'm there. So, but I'll be doing that in the springtime. I could start it right now, but I just don't wanna carve in the friggin' rain. Actually, come to think of it, this little burl is a perfect mushroom cap. Yep. For that piece. Anyways. Okay, so this is my buddy Paul. We call him the uh, Mexican cowboy. Uh, him and his wife just moved to, back to Ladner, and we'll show you the tree. Are they nice? Yeah, they're good. Hi, guys. Okay, I'll show you guys this tree. So this is cedar, and. What we're going to do is carve three owls up there. That's like 20 feet. A uh, papa, a mama, and a child because it's husband, wife, and their little boy. And um, some tr I'll carve some trees up there too. He's not too sure what he's going to do for the base. We were going to carve like a chair in the bottom here. But I brought a wood spirit here and put it here. Because you know the wood spirits get rid of the bad juju so this guy can sit here till the um, springtime get rid of all the bad spirits what kind of bug is that it's one of those stink bugs anyways this is going to be in the springtime paul's got a paul the bastard's got another stump there he's taken to my car because i'm carving him four pumpkins and um that's it 
no more pumpkins. I'm, tomorrow, I'm gonna well, I'm gonna go to my chainsaw shop right now, and we'll talk more about it. But that's this is for the springtime. Okay, so I charged my phone. Here's uh, I got four pumpkins in here. One, two, three, four. These are gonna be the uh, four pumpkins. What I gotta do tomorrow is grab my gas cans, get some gas, finish all the trees, finish, clean up this mess, finish the trees, and uh, carve four pumpkins. I wanna, I wanna get one of these big cedar logs off into the tent. I don't wanna get this big log I'm pretty sure I could do it with my dolly, my forklift, into the tent to carve for this winter. But who knows? So these, I gotta cut the bottoms flat on these pumpkins right now. I gotta take these wood baskets, dump the wood in the wood pile down there by the farm, and that's gonna be it for me today. So, tomorrow, do I do another Jordy Does video carving the pumpkins in the trees? Or will it be too boring? Have I done enough? Just don't know. Okay. So this is the cedar I'm going to be carving next year. I got the pumpkins all cut flat enough. Now I got this root piece. I'm going to slice this down here for the mushrooms. Okay, look at that mushroom base. Huh? Huh? A couple mushrooms on there? Just let it dry out a bit, clean it up, and then a uh, good winter project. A epoxy sculpt some mushroom caps to go on there. Perfect. Okay, into the carving fusion warehouse. Here you go, Larry. I got it stored for you. I cleaned it up with my saw. And I'm pretty sure it's cedar so that's good you got some bug holes on the outside wood but once you clean up get rid of this crappy wood it's all the hardwoods all clean okay and this piece I found that's hollow on here the farmer said he thought it was arbutus and I said no it's not arbutus but actually it is arbutus looks like a whirlwind down in there but uh, maybe I'll do something this summer. I'm not in any hurry to. Uh, I'm not in any hurry to uh, carve that. Anyways, that's all. See this moss? This is the good moss. You can take it and save it for crafts. It's nice and thin. I'm gonna get some of this moss. I got some at home, but I'm gonna take more. Okay, that's it. We'll see you on the next one.